Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are. I'm Mark Franks. I'm a Acumatica Senior Platform Evangelist. I've been with Acumatica for going on seven years now, so I've been here a while. I'm going to talk to you and just give you an update on all things developer, and uh, let's just get going. So as part of my agenda, the first thing I want to do is just talk about building community because I think that's a really important component, uh, not only for Acumatica uh, in general, but for our developers. Uh, I'll talk about our specific developer MVP program, the events we have and all the resources. And then I always like to finish up with a, a call to action, things I ask of you, my audience. So this is uh, one of my favorite pictures of all time. Uh, it, it was taken a couple of years ago at the hackathon. This is the winning team from two years ago. And uh, what it expresses, and I hope the emotion that it conveys is just, you know, this excitement, joy, uh, camaraderie, fellowship, things I'm gonna talk about uh, a little bit here in the beginning. So a couple of years ago, maybe it's been three, I'm not great on time. As I get older, time kind of morphs for me. But uh, at an OEM meeting we had, I, I uh, was talking to the OEMs about building community. And I think it's always useful to kind of have a, an understanding of what that means and look at the definitions and, and see how that relates to our, our, our idea of community. And there were a couple things that just kind of jumped out at me, as you can see that I circled. And, and the idea of, you know, having a, a worker, you know, someone, uh, a resource that's, that's really designed to serve, oops, I hit, a, hit the wrong button, that's designed to, to serve the community or the people in a particular area. And I like to think about a community as, as, as something where people serve one another. And I like to think of myself uh, as kind of a servant of the people, of the community, of the developer community, and I do what I can uh, to provide value uh, to the community and serve them the best I can. The other thing that jumped out at me was this idea of fellowship with others. I think, you know, any communities that we maybe belong to, uh, there is this sense of, you know, strong attachment and fellowship that we get uh, because we have shared interest, attitudes, goals, values, and so forth. And it's the same thing what we try to do at Acumatica uh, is, is to build a, a sense of fellowship be able to share. Now, my next slide, you know, I have all these words up here that, that you can relate to in building, you know, the idea of fellowship that I just talked about, but also that there's always this value and benefit. And what you get out of a community is what you put into it. And collaboration is really important component, working with others, sharing what you know, um, you know, continuing to learn and add to your talent stack. These are all important components. Uh, it's important to, to keep engaged. And that's one of the reasons I'm talking to you here today is I, I, I want to always keep engaged with the community and um, my fellow employees and, and partners and customers as best I can. And we all should strive for, you know, to make sure that we have a rhythm around our business, around our engagement and, and nurture the best we can uh, the community that we belong to. The other aspect is is to act, you know, especially if you're a very experienced Acumatica developer or, or, you know, know the product really well, is to is to take, you know, the new new people who don't have the experience under your under your wing and and act as a mentor and help them because we all have started in life not knowing much or at all, and the more we know, the the we we realize that we we don't know as much as we think we do when we start out. So it's really good. It's really important to, you know, to help others and offer, if you have a lot of experience, you know, your, your mentorship uh, to, to others. So it's an important component. This, this slide I've had for several years, um, it's been updated, but it gives you a, kind of a model that we work at Acumatica uh, in terms of, you know, as I mentioned, engagement, learning, nurturing, and build. And, and one of the things that we do with the, having the hackathon is it's something we can do and have developers and non-developers alike, by the way, uh, build um, you know prototypes and solutions at our two-day hackathon. So that's an important component. The training and learning, we, I think we have one of the best education departments, 
pound for pound than any company in the world. We just have fantastic education, can always be better. And we're really striving um, you know, to uh, get in front of new releases that we have, uh, especially next year when things are going to, um, there's going to be a lot of change in terms of user interface and uh, the back end adopting .NET Core and so forth. So we want to make sure that we have everything in place before we launch of, you know, all the training materials and, and how-to documentation and things like that. And those are important aspects. The other thing is, is our developer forum. So this past year, I think it's been six to eight months now, we've added uh, our ac you know, developer forum specifically to our Acumatica community site. Uh, we still obviously will continue to support Stack Overflow. You know, developers mostly are used to using Stack Overflow. We have kind of two places in which people can ask questions and get answers uh, in our developer forums on Stack Overflow and the Acumatica community. So let's uh, pivot a bit here and just talk about our developer MVP program. And for those of, of you who are new and, and don't know about our our uh, MVP programs. We we have a general MVP program, which is a nomination process, which just kicked off uh, a week or two ago. So uh, at the end of of November, uh, we'll stop accepting nominations, and we will, based on nominations, we get in a room and we we decide who who is worthy of of being a, a, an Acumatica MVP. The developer MVP uh, program is different. Um, it's it's a recruitment model, right? I most of the uh, developer MVPs that we have in our program, I've recruited from the hackathon because I've worked with them. I get to know them. I see that you know they 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 love to uh, to participate uh, and you know show up at the summit and uh, and and so I, I often ask those who uh, join who are developers or hackathon to join our MVP program. I also ask others, other MVPs or other people to say, you know, let me know who who they think would be a great addition to the program. And then we, you know, we uh, have requirements and we have uh, an LOA, a letter of agreement that we have the person's manager and the, and the MVP uh, applicant, if you will, uh, sign. And they, they understand that there are requirements. Uh, one and a half uh, answered questions uh, per year, which is 18, uh, you know, either on Stack Overflow or now uh, the community uh, site uh, in the developer forums. We ask each of the developer MVPs to uh, write two uh, blog posts, and I act as the editor. Um, I know uh, a lot of developers aren't necessarily like to write uh, these things, but uh, it's a requirement and, and I help them, you know, they just uh, uh, throw it over the fence to me and I, and I polish it up for them. And uh, they also provide sample code usually in their guest posts and link to uh, GitHub so they can share that knowledge with, with individuals. Uh, another requirement is to attend Summit and participate in the hackathon. Uh, and then for extra credit, which I'll go into uh, what that means, uh, besides you know doing presentations and and uh, participating uh, in um, doing um, uh, community coding efforts that we have uh, available, uh, we consider that extra credit. Uh, and what we end up doing is having a developer of the year, which I have a slide for. So just for those of you to see the difference between you know Stack Overflow, those of you familiar with it. You know, if you go in there and search and, and use the tag for questions and add Acumatica or just search Acumatica, you'll see uh, questions that are there. And you can see these are, are, are new questions that haven't had answers that I um, copied last night uh, from the website. Uh, and then you can answer those questions. And then on the right, you see the uh, developer forum forums that we have. We have, you know, a section for customizations, the framework web services and so forth. And you can see the questions there and people answering those. So you can see where to get that. I have the uh, URLs down at the bottom if you're interested in, in checking those out. Now, I, I mentioned the blog posts. Um, again, I copied this from last night from the, our webpage. Uh, 
and you can see that you know I had a post that I did for nominating Acumatica MVP. So yes, that was uh, almost two weeks ago. Uh, you can see that uh, Naveen, uh, Patrick, uh, Dioris, who's a former Acumatica employee who now works uh, with an ISV uh, partner that we have, um, and others. But you can see I have three posts, but all the other posts are by MVPs. And um, there's one that's under my name called Fluent. Um, uh, you can see here Fluent Bequal. And we updated that one. That was a very popular one. So I actually had one of our MVPs uh, update this for me and add, add the uh, sample code for us. So you can see that uh, on, on the left. So here's, a, here's the hackathon from last year's hackathon and the winning team. Uh, you can see Brian Stevens, who's a customer developer, who's been an MVP for the last few years. And another MVP uh, that we have is Ger Gerhard. Uh, Vandenhever uh, from South Africa, and then we have uh, VARS and customer as part of that team there. And they wrote a, a program called Acumatica Centurion, which was to, to guard Acumatica for people putting in uh, malicious or unsavory files and raising the alarm, as you can see, that they put here in their description. And what was great about this is um, we always have a, a, a lightning session and the winning team does a presentation there, uh, but they got extra mileage out of it. They actually got uh, a couple blog posts, but you know, uh, Brian did part one and uh, Gerhard did part two. So they really uh, took advantage of the hackathon to uh, uh, get their requirements out of the way early uh, in 2022. So you ask, well, you know, what are the benefits of the uh, MV program, MVP program? Well, a, a monetary benefit that you get is it reduces your cost for attending the summit itself is since we give you a complimentary pass, and I think that's around $1,200. I haven't checked the price lately, but uh, uh, so that's, that's a nice savings. But also you get recognition uh, at the summit, and you can use this uh, uh, badge, if you will, that's on the screen uh, it, on your LinkedIn account or your email signature. Uh, we also, you know, as being part of the, which is not listed here, I probably could have listed, is we have a, a, a meeting every other Thursday, and a, bit, a large part of that meeting is, is sharing uh, with the other MVPs something you've learned that's really cool lately or any problems you may be having. Uh, and uh, oftentimes, about 90% of the time, someone knows the answer. So there's a lot of benefit from, you know, being part of the MVP program that are tangible and intangible alike. So just to put faces on, you know, who are the MVPs? We have 29 this year. We grew by about, uh, I don't know, eight to 10 people this past year. Uh, we are looking for more uh, developer MVPs. So if you know someone or you think that you'd like to become a, a developer MVP, just uh, send me an email, mfranks at acumatica.com. Um, so uh, we have this developer spotlight. You can click on the more information and learn a little bit more about the, the individual. And then what I mentioned earlier is, you know, that extra credit. So we uh, always recognize the last four years um, a, uh, someone who on the, MV, the developer MVP group that, that's gone beyond uh, the requirements and really has has uh, someone who's been outstanding during the year. And we uh, bring them up on stage at our general session uh, of our developer track. And you can see this past year, we have a Joy uh, here who uh, is no longer uh, with us, but uh, it'll probably be Ali on stage next year with this year's uh, winner, along with uh, Mike, one of our co-founders. And you can see Stefan Belanger uh, was the winner. Before that, it was Robert Waite. And before that, it was um, Yuri Zaletsky, many of you know, and then Brendan uh, Hanley, uh, who now uh, works for us because uh, we have our manufacturing product. So let's shift gears again. I probably should have had a transition slide in here, but one of the things I want to make people realize, and I just want to look at my watch to make sure I'm respectful of time, is that any new developer, you know, we have a, a web page 
up on on uh, acumatica.com slash developers you can click on it from there you don't have to re remember onboarding hyphen new so on but on that page it's kind of a one-stop shopping for new developers you know the first thing that i highlight here that i have a, a red uh, drew red circle around is a quick uh, start guide that the um, isv uh, team uh, put together for me and I published and then click on that and it gives them, you know, what are the, what's the quickest way to get up and running, you know, how to install a developer instance on Acumatica uh, and, you know, to kind of short circuit the guide that we have because for developers, you know, there's specific things you need to do and, and you can short circuit the process that we have documented uh, that we have consultants and implementers do or customers for that matter. Uh, who are installing instances. And then, as I mentioned, we have uh, an awesome uh, education department and we have uh, Acumatica University and we uh, have a developer specific training pass. And, you know, these little plus buttons you see on the screen here, you click on that, it expands and gives you more information and links to the information that we have. All the documented resources on, on the products, the release notes and so forth, how to get assistance, uh, through our forums and opening up cases, uh, you know, uh, our blog posts and, and any other miscellaneous uh, resources we have. So again, I just want to know for all any new uh, developers, especially that you want to onboard, this is a great resource for them. So let's switch to developer events. Um, we, we have uh, essentially two major events a year that are approximately six months apart. We just had our virtual developer conference uh, back in June. And then uh, in end of January, early February, we have our, our summit. And as I mentioned, you know, we have our uh, hackathon and developer track. So uh, those are the two main events. And then periodically we have, uh, we do uh, a coffee and code, which I'll talk about more specifically. And we have developer specific uh, webinars. We do at least two a year where we have a what's new for developers and part of our virtual uh, R2 launch that's coming up on the 22nd uh, at 10 a.m. And we have a breakout session uh, specifically around what's new uh, for developers in, in 2022 R2. And you can see that session uh, starts at, at 1045. So uh, all the virtual developer conferences we have, we have a specific page and you can see all the past conferences. So uh, we have six total. So you can see last year's and the years before. If you click on any of these, you can go and see what sessions we have. And we have all the sessions. You have access to the recordings, any source code, uh, the slides themselves. So we do keep a repository of past events. This past year, we had a a really great event. We had uh, 735 uh, people that registered and attended the session. Uh, and if you go to this specific page, acumatica.com slash devcon, if you scroll down on the page, you can see the, the actual uh, source code uh, and, re and recorded sessions. And just so you know what those sessions were in case you missed them, uh, as we do with every single virtual devcon, and uh, our summit, we always have our uh, frameworks in our web services. This year it was two days. Uh, the year before that it was one, before that it's two. So it just depends on the content. This past year, we, we really wanted to kind of have uh, developer fundamentals as our first day and then more advanced ses sessions on our second day. So we added something new this year for developers that was uh, developer fundamentals and Sergey Nikomarov did a, a wonderful session along with uh, Evgeny on, you know, what tools and, you know, what in Visual Studio that they, you know, passing on their knowledge to developers to learn about, you know, what, how we use and leverage Visual Studio. It was almost like a, really a kind of a tutorial on how to best leverage uh, the developer environment and, and specific tools around building Acumatica applications and that's that's what we're, we're all about we're all about sharing knowledge uh with one another knowledge that comes from our development team knowledge that comes through our uh, mvps our experienced uh, acumatica developers 
uh, and we share, you know, our roadmaps and, you know, we really strive to have, you know, the best content that we can, not only just the best training, but also the best, you know, updated content that we can share with uh, our community. And you can see the dev track very similar to the virtual DevCon. Like I said, we always have a, a XRP a framework session and a web services section. Um, and then we had, you know, three specific advanced developer topics. And you'll notice that, you know, one, two, three, four of those sessions were done by MVPs. So we like to have our partner MVPs uh, uh, help with the sessions and uh, pass on their knowledge uh, along with our internal uh, uh, engineering team sharing, sharing details. Something that's been new uh, in, in 2021 and 2022 is our coffee and code. Uh, what this is, is, you know, we uh, um, go on uh, teams, we have a meeting and I invite uh, some internal developers and our MVPs to join us and we, you know, figure out a particular topic that we want to have. And it's just a, a casual discussion around um, a particular topic that we have. Uh, that we, you know, invite guests to, to discuss. And uh, it, we try to make it not like a webinar in the sense that we try not to have slides. Some, some sessions we like to, you know, have a few slides just to, to frame the discussion. But generally, it's just an open discussion around a given topic. We record these and make them available. And we have a dedicated web page uh, for that on, on uh, acumatica.com, as you can see there. And these are the 11 sessions that we have. You can see we, our latest one was on mobile development. Uh, we talked about technology futures. Uh, we had Ali uh, join us as an executive guest. We learned some, some interesting uh, detail from Ali about uh, how he got into being a developer and built companies and joined Acumatica and, you know, lessons that he's learned over time. Uh, that he shared with with the audience. So all these are recorded. If you haven't seen these, uh, please uh, any of these topics that look interesting, you can go up and view them at your at your leisure. Well, I'm finishing a little early. I, I just wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't go over and I have time uh, for any questions that we may have. But I always like to, as I mentioned, finish the the presentation with a call to action. And, you know, whether you're a developer or not, you're in management, I really, really encourage you to, as you, if you're a developer, to get involved in our development, our developer community. And if you're not a developer, to go seek out the developers in your company and, and, and encourage them to join our community and get involved. Uh, if you know any uh, developer uh, developers that, you know, you think would make uh, good MVPs and contribute, uh, I would uh, encourage you to, to send me an email and we can set up a meeting and I can go over the program in, in a little bit more detail than I've gone, uh, gone here. And then whether you're an MVP or not, really, uh, the summit isn't just for the, for the business people, for our partners and customers. It's, it's also uh, for developers. And I really uh, always exhort management to, to, to spend the money. Uh, to you know, for the flight and the um, you know the cost it is to come, it's it's well worth it. It's a chance to network with uh, with uh, our engineering because we always have uh, our developers uh, join us and they're they're part of the hackathon teams and you just <laughs> and there goes my dog. <laughs> so hopefully he'll be quiet now. Um, but uh, anyway, as I'm smiling, trying to recover from that because I was just as shocked as you may have been. Um, what was I talking about again? The uh, attending the uh, hackathon in the summit gives you an opportunity to um, uh, network with others, right? Something that business people have been doing forever and really trying to encourage developers to do the same. Uh, you, you know, a lot of developers, especially if they're just the only developer at their company, uh, or maybe there's only two and they're, you know, they're locked behind a room or they're working from home and they're just focusing on it. It's good to get them out into the world and attend these events and to make friends and connections with others that they can leverage because we're always stronger as a community than we are as individuals. And uh, I promise you, if you get them involved, it's, it's an investment that, that you'll rec recoup uh, uh, 
easily within the first uh, first few months of them getting back. You'll energize them. They'll learn new things. They'll be able to 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 work with others to to answer tough questions that they have uh, while they're building uh, customizations and and applications. Um, again, uh, for developers, you know, please uh, visit uh, the developer page that we have there, uh, acumatica.com slash developer, read our blogs, you know, watch uh, any of the recordings that we have, other coffee and code or uh, past events. And, and please consider uh, the developer MVP program. And if you have any questions or ideas you want to share, feedback or what, you can always uh, get a hold of me uh, at, at my email. I'll be glad to set up a meeting with you or just uh, 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 chat uh, in an email thread. So with that, I thank you for attending the session and hopefully um, you learned something new and, and if you're a developer, hopefully I got you excited about you know, the community and, and you know, help, hopefully you'll uh, share your knowledge and be part of that. So thank you very much. And I'm gonna stop sharing. And here I am. So I'm looking at the uh, chat. Thanks, Elisa. I've done these presentations, so hopefully I'm not, I, I don't stink. Uh, <laughs> so thanks. Uh, hey, Mike, uh, Michael. Yes, it was nice. Shout out for the hackathon. Absolutely. And Jenny, thanks for the little clap there. Let's see. Do I have any questions in the Q&A? Not a single question. I don't know if people can talk or not. Uh, uh, if you can, go ahead. If you have any questions, you can, uh, I don't know if we allow attendees to talk or not. But if you have any questions, uh, please uh, post them in the q and I'll hang out here. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, I can answer anything you have. So thanks. Thanks, Megan. So this uh, session will be available. Uh, all sessions, I believe, are being recorded. I can see on my screen here it's recording. So uh, I appreciate uh, uh, you sharing this. If you thought the session was, was good with any of your coworkers or, or customers or partners that you think should see this session to learn more about uh, the community and what it takes to build a great community. Uh, and I, again, uh, any feedback that I can get from anyone, uh, I appreciate it because uh, all I want, all I care about is, is making our developer community the best community there is out there. And, provide as much information as possible and do what I can to act as a catalyst uh, to help developers be efficient, productive, and you know, uh, be able to provide, build solutions for their companies and their customers uh, to be the best that they possibly can be. So that's, that's my job in a nutshell, to facilitate that. So anyway, with that, I'll, I'll be quiet and uh, thank you again for uh, attending and take care. Bye-bye.